Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we're going to look on how you can obtain a public service vehicle license, also known as the PSV license in Kenya. Down here, we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website where we have given you uh, detailed information on how you can go about the application process. We've also included external links to documents which you're going to use for the applications and these uh, links are located at uh, convenient places where you can just download the forms by one click of the button. We have also included uh, links to external sites which you can visit to have more information on how you can go about the application process. And right now I want us to shift our attention to the right hand side of the screen where we have included uh, the select language option and through this what you can do is select a language which is easy for you to comprehend like in kenya you can select kiswahili and by selecting uh, kiswahili what this will do this will will translate the page to kiswahili and as you can see but for the purposes of this video what we are going to continue in english so let's go back to our presentation and uh, the list of items which you are going to cover in this session include the need of a PSV license, the eligibility, the required documents, steps to follow while making the application, the validity, the fees applicable, the validity period, the processing time, office, location and contacts and any other information which uh, may add to how to obtain a public service uh, license in Kenya. So this procedure is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. Welcome. Need of a PSV license. By Kenyan traffic laws, a person should not drive or act as the conductor of a public service vehicle on a road unless he is licensed for the purpose and under the law. And a person should not employ or permit any person who is not licensed to do so. This document also shows compliance with the Kenyan traffic laws. The PSV license is required by the transport by transport companies offering employment to prospective drivers and conductors. One needs to have this document to gain employment in the public service transportation sector. The eligibility is that uh, one needs a valid good conduct, a certi valid certificate of good conduct issues to the effect that the person is fit and proper to hold a license, a PSV license. Uh, one must be a holder of class A, B, C, or J for in case for uh, drivers. Drivers must have experience of four years of continuous driving prior to their applications. Uh, drivers, sorry about this. Drivers should be above 24 years of age. A conductor should be above 18 years of age. And uh, both uh, drivers and conductors must be cleared by the circle or the company in which they are employed. The require, required documents uh, is the duly filled form 16 and form 17 for drivers and conductors respectively. A receipt fee of 50 shillings uh, for certification, which is supposed to be surrendered to the road transport department. A certificate of good conduct obtained from the CID department. A copy of the applicant's national identity card, the driving license of the applicant and the passport photos. The steps to follow. Uh, for, uh, this applies to drivers and conductors, uh, operating taxis, uh, driving for institutions, matatus or in the, uh, in sole applicants. First of all, they have to meet the requirements, which are for a driver, they have to be 24 years and above, uh, have four years continued driving experience, have a copy of their ID and a certificate of good conduct. Conductors must be 18 years and above, have a copy of their national ID and a certificate of good conduct. And the first step is they'll do is to, they'll visit the department, the traffic department, to make the application. There you'll be given form uh, 16 for drivers and form 17 for conductors to, co to complete. And a copy can be downloaded through this link. The link is included in our wiki procedure page. And the document is also provided at the traffic department so after filling the the form you need to pay 50 shilling for certification 
to f certify that you are fit to take the PSV to hold the PSV license. And after the you are, the form has be been certified, you have to take the form together with the receipt to the traffic police department. Uh, located, uh, you have to take uh, to the you have to uh, sorry. And after the form has been certified, you have to take the receipts obtained from the traffic police department to the road transportation department in Nairobi, which is located in Times Tower. And after th there, you are supposed to pay the application fees, which is 625, and submit the receipt together with the application document, either form 16 or 17, and now up together with the required documents, which is the National ID Card, Certificate of Good Conduct, and Driver's License. And after logging in, you'll be issued with your certificate, uh, with your public service license. Uh, steps to follow. Uh, if you want to make your application online, first you have to visit the National Transport and Saf Safety Authority website, NTSA. And you have to note that this is the uh, most common uh, procedure nowadays. And people are encouraged, encouraged to follow this procedure. So let's look on how this is done. Uh, you have to go uh, to NTSA. So just go to your browser and google for ntsa and go to the ntsa website here click on this icon this website it's going to direct you uh to the national transport and safety authority authority website browse down here and go to the quick links and click on the psv license applications by clicking here, it's going to direct you to the login page and which you're going you're supposed to enter your mobile phone number and your ID number and hit the login button. Uh, after logging in, it's going to uh, direct you to your, to your home page, to your dashboard. And at, in your dashboard, click on the approved license status. And at the approved license status, click on new application. After clicking new application, you're going to be directed to the next page. And depending on the type of application you want, if uh, you are an institutional driver, a taxi driver, or a tours driver, you choose whichever option you want. You have to note that the PSV driver application, uh, PSV drivers for public service and conductors for public service has been moved to the circle sector. And we are go if you want that uh, a procedure, you can uh, visit our wiki procedure and look for how to get a PSV for a driver or a conductor. Uh, working for Wasako in Kenya. So after choosing your form, fill in the required documents, uh, the required details, which include uh, the name of your, of your employer, your, your, also your license number, where you want to collect your license from. You need to also put, uh, upload your, your photograph and click next, which will direct you to the payment section. And in the payment section, you proceed to pay. You select, uh, you'll be given payment options from mobile service, uh, mobile money options to, uh, to uh, debit card uh, payment options. And after you've paid, click submit and confirm your, after confirming payment, then go back to the dashboard and click on applications to review your application and if you're satisfied uh, that the information is correct print your application and take it to the collection point to collect your new psv license uh, the fees applicable is 50 shillings is uh, is paid for certification of the form 16 and form 17 the processing fee of the psv license is kenya shilling 625 the validity period is two years from the date of issue the processing time is immediate you're going to be given the uh certificate uh, the license immediately you've finished your application and the office location is that the ntsa National Transport and Safety Authority uh, is located at Hill Park Building, Upper Hill, Nairobi, Kenya. You can visit them through www.ntsa.go.ke. And other information is that applicants are required to lodge their applications at the road transport offices at Times Tower, Nairobi. If you are making the, uh, you are applying 
in person and not using the online application uh, uh, option and you should ensure you have a valid police good conduct before you begin the application so thank you for watching wikiprocedure.com you can go ahead and hit the like button if you've liked the video uh, I, you can also go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tell a friend about our wikiprocedure.com we have many many uh different videos for different kinds of procedures all across the globe not only in kenya and in our you can visit the wiki procedure website and under kenya you can browse through the 47 counties we have also have procedures for different uh ways to obtain different things and have different uh services and processes in kenya uh done for all the 47 counties and kenya in general so uh, go ahead once again hit the like uh, the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, tell a friend to tell a friend about wikiprocedure.com. So thank you and I wish you all the best in getting your PSV license.